my name is Steve Armand. I'm the global chairman of Deloitte. Uh, we in Deloitte have invested heavily in the emerging markets, recognizing their vital importance, not only to the growth of the global economy, but also to the future success of thousands of our major international clients. We have over 25,000 Deloitte people on the ground in the BRICS countries today alone. So I'm delighted to introduce Lord Green, Minister for Trade and Development, and a panel of Deloitte experts discussing the vast opportunities that the emerging markets hold and also providing valuable insights for the many companies who are just beginning their journey there. Britain needs to find new export markets. We need to trade uh, our way to growth in the 21st century. We need to pay our way. We need to focus, therefore, on the markets which are large and fast growing. Those are the emerging markets, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and a number of others, uh, which are showing much stronger growth than Europe is going to show. Uh, the British government uh, is working hard to support a better export performance by the country as a whole, to encourage more SMEs in particular to get into the international markets. And so we have, through UK trade and investment, uh, been making sure we've got people both overseas and in this country who are there to help. Uh, and we need, need to make sure that everybody's got their contact numbers. And then on the uh, finance side, uh, UK Export Finance, the new name for the old ECGD, is there to provide credit guarantees to support going into these markets to de-risk the decision so that uh, we can encourage more and more companies to get into the markets profitably. Emerging markets are important for many of our clients. 73% of us are telling us that that's a high priority for them over the next three years. And while only 28% of the participants in the survey earn 30% or more of their revenues from those markets currently, 51% expect to be at 30% or more in the next three years. So it's a big opportunity for many companies in our marketplace. They certainly offer significant opportunities for UK companies. Uh, what we find is that there are a number of companies who are already there. Uh, and they're already earning significant revenues in some of the obvious uh, candidates, the Chinas, the, the Indias and the Brazils. And they're looking at new opportunities in areas such as Russia, Poland, Mexico, Argentina and in Southeast Asia. But there's also an opportunity for companies that haven't yet entered those markets. They tend to look closer to home rather than looking at the obvious candidates of China and India, they're tending to look more at Eastern Europe as areas that offer them opportunity as a toe in the water of entering new markets. I think that one of the key lessons that came through though for companies that are entering those markets is they need to be very specific in identifying the market opportunity, very specific in identifying the needs of their customers and very specific in their value proposition that they take to those customers. The broad definition which sometimes underlies entry into emerging markets is that we'll offer less for less. That doesn't apply. You've got to look at these markets in a very granular way in order to be successful. The opportunity in the major emerging markets of the world is really about a billion new middle class consumers by 2020 and another billion new middle class consumers by 2030. So it's the growth of that middle class that is the real driver of that opportunity. One of the things we do see is that the experience in, in retail and the experience in consumer products, in the big branded companies for example, are somewhat different and they're, they're different because the starting points are typically different. What's clear is there's a lot of activity on both sides. We're seeing a lot of activity in retail in some of these markets. Quite interesting to have seen Walmart, for example, you know, acquire a major retailer in South Africa as their platform for expansion in Africa. Take the world, you know, some of the world's largest food companies, one that I happen to work with personally. They've made 11 acquisitions in the last 12 months, most of those all about building out their category footprint in major emerging markets. What's very important is to do your homework but actually to make sure that you take advice in terms of both the geography, where the consumer is, so really understand the opportunity, but also the particular constraints and challenges of the market. So to make sure that you, you use best available local knowledge and advice to make sure that the, that the entry strategy or the development strategy is a good one, absolutely critical. To enter a merchant market successfully, you really need to get a, a country perspective because essential what uh, merge markets, there's no one size fits all. 
each market, each merged market is very unique in terms of local challenges, local culture, uh, local dynamics that you really need to study before even entering a market. All kinds of companies can enter emerging markets. The only thing is you really need to define uh, where do you want to play because it's a huge investment by entering an emerging market. It's not something you do for one or two years. If you take this, it's a commitment for the next 10 to 20 years. One of the key uh, challenges is the lack of information, lack of fact-based data. Because you can imagine these are really emerging markets with local dynamics which are still immature in terms of market research. Uh, there's also a lack of information on the governmental structure uh, restrictions. Uh, the cultural uh, differences uh, that companies uh, face on operating in these markets. And that's actually an area where Deloitte helps them by uh, utilizing our global network. We've got a lot of offices in uh, emerging markets and we're utilizing our network of experts in those markets to support companies on getting the right information and really formulate a, a concrete and cohesive image of the market. The key conclusion is that emerging markets offer an enormous opportunity for business. But they're a high priority for lots of people and therefore you have to have an effective strategy that allows you to execute effectively in each market. And I think it's really important not to look at emerging markets as a group, but to define them market by market, be quite granular in your definition of the market, be very specific in your definition of the customer's needs and how your product or service is going to address those needs. We at Deloitte have an emerging market strategy. But our strategies are different from market to market, and I think that's really important.